I was fortunate enough to meet Billy Gladstone when I was a very young student uh, studying at Juilliard School of Music. Uh, my other teachers were Saul Goodman and Morris Goldenberg. Uh, for all of you who don't know the history, Billy was a very famous drummer starting in the 1930s and uh, his career finished as a on the road with My Fair Lady. Uh, he was known as a, a very well-known percussionist, but also as an inventor. Uh, he had over 20 patents, uh, from a key case to a tongue depressor to a lighted baton that he made for Radio City. Uh, the other thing that you probably have heard of are his snare drums. Uh, which I have a little company making a replica of. That I asked him if he would give me some lessons, which he agreed to do. And it turned out to be uh, virtually a three-year uh, collaboration, whereas it wasn't every week that I got a lesson, but it started out very concentrated, and then as I got more professional, got older, it was just an occasional touch-up lesson. Uh, it was very strange because we never read a page of music. Uh, he never wrote down anything for me to practice. It was quite interesting because I had never studied with a teacher like that. It was all conceptual. Basically, how to hit the drum, what sound you're trying to get out of the drum, what's a roll, what's a stroke. And it started out very simply with a single stroke. So I've subsequently, over the years, since I never wrote anything down, have what I think Billy would have taught. 